Hello guys, this is Jit Anjan and in this video we are going to talk about IIT Gandhinagar MTech program. If we talk about IIT Gandhinagar infrastructure, as we all know Gandhinagar is one of the few planned cities of modern India offering tier 1 city infrastructure. And also the city's cultural richness also adds supplement to IIT Gandhinagar's infrastructure. IIT Gandhinagar invites applications to MTech programs in different departments like biological engineering, chemical, civil, computer science and engineering, earth system science, electrical engineering, mechanic, mechanical engineering, material science and engineering. So the MTech curriculum at Gandhinagar mainly focus on high quality thesis work. It also offers one year MTech program which is called uh, postgraduate diploma in engineering which is a one year uh, postgraduate program with intensive course work based program with no thesis work when with no thesis requirement okay so it is totally intensive course work based program so you will have to cover high uh, high credit course one year program okay like uh, we already talked in iit hyderabad the interview uh, lecture there, there was one year mtech program which is called all course mtech Similarly here the postgraduate diploma in engineering program. If we talk about eligibility criteria, so minimum of 55% 55% in graduation undergraduate program and 50% uh, for SCST and candidates should have valid GATE score and th for the student who are applying for one year MTech or part-time part basis like for the sponsor candidates the gate score is not required okay and the candidate with uh, who are graduate from iit uh, will be required 8 or above cgp or cpi will not be required gate score financial support yes stipend of 12400 will be given for the uh, regular or full time mtech program candidates with who who are having a valid GATE score. Admission process is similar to other IITs, written test plus interview. Candidates will be called based on their GATE score and then the written test and interview will be followed. So written test will be uh, mainly focused on logical reasoning, analytical and numerical ability, mainly general aptitude and technical part like engineering mathematics and basic courses which will which was covered in your graduation or bachelor degree okay so yeah if uh, you go from your place to iit gandhinagar for interview or return test you will be uh, re you you can reimburse your travel expenses above the 750 rupees okay yeah the critical point here is it is not like a one application for all discipline if you are applying for dif different discipline more than one discipline you have to apply different separately separate applications you have to submit for each discipline so electrical engineering uh, is having a, a different specialization here microelectronics uh, signal processing, fiber optics, power systems, control system, electrical machines, VLSI, biomedical engineering. Uh, if it uh, okay, here I have given one interview experience of a uh, aspirant, not mine. It is of uh, aspirant. So first question was self introduction. Then they asked the favorite subjects. Then he told digital electronics and ADC. Then the further question was from digital electronics and ADC. What is propagation delay in logic circuit and why delay occurs? They ask. So as you all know, what is propagation delay? It is the time required to produce output if we give input. And why delay occurs? Because every logic circuit uh, requires some time to process the input and to produce output. What is NOR and NAND gate? Next question was what is NOR and NAND gate? It is universal gate. You have to uh, draw the circuit. You have to draw that gate and you have to explain the working or you have to explain the truth table. Explain bandwidth of the amplifier. As we all know, the the range of the frequency 
to which the amplifier amplifies is bandwidth bandwidth of single pole system it is the frequency at which gain becomes uh, 3 db of its uh, high value okay what are the condition for which gain bandwidth product is constant for this i will uh, use a whole video or i will make a whole video uh, okay different the difference between ideal and real op amp okay so in real op amp or practical op amp uh, there will be some offset uh, voltage or uh, base current will not be zero and uh, in no it, there will be not an infinite input resistance there will be no zero output resistance while in ideal op amp zero output resistance infinite um, input resistance zero base current zero offset voltage tc tc curve okay i think this is some misprint okay output for uh for open loop open output for open okay or oh, you have to uh, you know a into uh, differential voltage what is cmmr so ad by ac cmmr matlab differential gain divided by common mode gain and what is common mode gain if we sort the both inputs of op amp inverting and non inverting the gain which it produce is ac or common mode gain so in computer science engineering these are the different uh, uh, specialization they offers and placement if we talk about placement for the year of 2017 so mtech placements or have an uh, average salary of around 7.2 lakh per annum with the minimum salary being 6 lakh per annum so companies uh, which came uh, were john john deere johnson controls belkan india bomber dyer transportation marvel semiconductor hyundai motors rkc infra built mcx india general electric reliance jio infocom mahindra and mahindra hss eats etc okay uh, i hope you got the overview of uh, iit gandhinagar if you have any doubt please write into the comment box thank you